Hey guys, welcome to the video, and today we're going to be talking about the season 8 finale of Game of Thrones, well, the uh, final season, and we're going to be going through our predictions of what we think will happen in the final season, which is, uh, I think, is 6 episodes, if I'm not mistaken, and most of the episodes are about an hour and 30 minutes on average, some are a little longer, yeah. Anyway, so what we were saying initially is that uh, obviously the White Walkers are coming and their first stop is going to be Winterfell. And before that, though, Daenerys and Jon are going to arrive at Winterfell. And there's going to be some initial drama between Sansa and Daenerys. Um, but before that can really play out too much, uh, the White Walkers are going to come. Because there's something at Winterfell that's important to the Night's King. Uh, he might be the, like uh, a Stark ancestor, one of the original Starks, maybe. They're, he could be very interested in the crypts of Winterfell, all the dead corpses that he could use for an army. Something at Winterfell, for sure. So when he gets to Winterfell with his army, I think you know there's going to be that initial battle. And they're going to be overwhelmed, obviously, the uh, Jon Snow and all of them, uh, Daenerys' forces. And they're going to have to retreat. But I think that someone might be kept hostage, kind of a prisoner by the White Walkers, just so we have someone there as like a point of view to see what's going on with the White Walkers. What do you think about that? Well, I think that sounds... Uh about the way it's probably going to play out. Um, I definitely agree on the theory that the, he might be a Stark, and it'd be awesome if there was some way he could raise all the Starks and they could stand in the line to, you know, do something. That would yeah. be quite a sight to see. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, and um, from what his purpose is, you know, I really, it really kind of hard for me to you don't know, but I'm going to start to get into that with some theory. Okay. Um, okay. But right now we're talking about mostly like where the characters are going to go initially. Because they're going to have to retreat from Winterfell when the White Walkers take it over. Um, well, and I, I, think, I think, like you said, if they would go to King's Landing and talk to the people, you know, it's, I mean... Well, we know that Jamie's on the road. He's leaving King's Landing probably to go tell... Uh, Everyone, where, where's he going? Where do you think he's going? I mean, he's going to go tell uh, Tyrion and Daenerys that it's a trap. That Cersei right. you know, is going to sabotage them at some point. Well, I certainly hope that he's got enough uh, upspa, whatever you want to call it, uh, to do that. I mean, after the way she treated him. Yeah. I mean, he should be smart enough by now to figure that out. That it's a matter of saving people that he loves and himself and lots of other people. Yeah. I think he's going to go join Tyrion's cause. Yeah, um, I think so. That's his next closest connection, yeah. is Tyrion. Um, the, although he does have a connection with Brienne, too, and he kind of feels sort of a, an obligation to Sansa. Correct. Yes, that's true. Okay, so... Uh, that's a good point. I, so I think that they're going to meet up with Jamie at some point, probably on, on the road to the uh, Erie or wherever they... They're going like I can't imagine them really going anywhere else. Um, and even if Santa's not with them for some reason, I'm not even sure that they'll go to the Erie. They might just try to double back to uh, the River Run or something. Well, they've got to go somewhere that the Night's nice King cannot get to them. Or the, the dead. They can't walk across the water. They've got to be protected by something. Yeah, that's a good point. They can't walk across the water, so maybe they'll go to the Iron Islands. Right. Because right. Theon, Theon's still with them, so right. you know Theon still has to rescue his sister, and all that has to be taken care of. So that's a good possibility. But I think what it's just going to come down to, and it has to, is that they're going to have to go back to King's Landing and save all those people there. Um, I feel like. Jon Snow I know. and maybe also Daenerys but definitely Jon Snow uh -huh. 
and maybe Tyrion too are going to give a they're going to give a speech to the people of King's Landing, and they're going to have to try and convince them, you know, to join the cause. To like, you know, hey, we're going to have to fight for ourselves, everybody together, uh, to defend against these White Walkers. And you know, Cersei is is not you know doesn't have your best interests in mind, so like abandon her or. or I think the speech that either, I mean, John's not much of a speech kind of guy, so maybe Daenerys or Tyrion probably. Actually, Tyrion, I think, would be yeah. good. I don't know how Tyrion is at this point with the people. Yeah. You know, if they would array him or not. You know? Oh, I think they would, because he's such a good speaker, motivator, too. Um, yeah. I think that's what's going to happen. And then they're going to have to have a battle with Cersei's forces because she's certainly not going to give up her her kingdom. I mean, yeah. She may be already gone. Do you think she's already gone? Oh, no. She's not. She's you definitely not she going to leave left? her. No. No way. She actually thinks she can battle it. Oh, no. What she's planning on is for them to battle it. Uh, and then she can destroy whatever's left over. <laughs> and she doesn't realize for every, every person they kill, they have another one on their side. Well, she probably realizes it, but she doesn't care. I mean, she's just so selfish. But, um, yeah, so I think there's going to be the battle at King's Landing between Cersei's forces and, you know, Daenerys and, and uh, Jon's forces. Um, Sansa, though, I feel like Sansa is going to kind of have her own detour. She's going to stay behind or something. You think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because Sansa's arc has got to go has got to go in a different direction. Like, she needs to become queen at the very end. I think she's going to be the queen. Uh, her whole story arc has been about kind of grooming her to become a queen. Like, she sees through Cersei how horrible uh, all the mistakes of, you know, that you can make as a queen. But, I mean, where would she stay behind? Where would she go? I think she's going to stay at Winterfell as, like, a prisoner or something or a uh, hostage. that or, or Bran, maybe something with Bran, I'm not sure. That's true. Yeah, Bran's still there, correct? Yeah. So then a, a really big battle at King's Landing between Cersei's Golden Company and, you know, Jon and Danny's forces. And obviously Jon and Danny are going to win. Um, you know, I don't know how, how many casualties though. It's like, you know, you got, you know, you got uh, some of the best fighters, like Grey Worm is on Daenerys' side, and, but then you have the Mountain, oh, yes. and his brother is on the opposite side with John and them. John and them. I still would love to see a battle between the two of them. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to happen. that would be uh, climactic to really see that, I think so. Oh, it's absolutely going to happen. Yeah, no doubt about it. But then you also have Bronn, who's a good fighter, a really good fighter. And whose side is he going to be on? You know, because Cersei well, is paying he him. He gets connected with John, uh, Jamie again. But it's all about for Braun. It's all about being paid, and Cersei's the highest payer right now. But you know, he might have a change of heart. And then you also have Brienne. Oh yes, Brienne too. She's, She's going to be on John's side, I believe, regardless. And of course, yeah. You know, I think Jamie will bring her in somehow too. Well, she's with Santa. Right. So well, that's right. She's always going to protect Santa. She may stay with Santa and try to protect her. Yeah. Still. Yeah. But I would like to see Brienne against the mountain. You know, that would be cool. Um, yeah. So uh, okay. The, so the dragons. I think it's going to be dragon on dragon battle. Have that evil undead dragon, the, the ice yes. dragon, right. against the other two, right. and one of the two is gonna die. It's not gonna be able to survive against this, this you know, evil dragon. Well, it might be the lesser, the smaller one. Yeah. You know, not the 
Yeah, yeah. The big one will stay alive. Drogon, the big black one. Okay, so that's going to be that is going to conclude part one of our discussion of Game of Thrones season eight predictions. Uh, we will have part two later on. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.